All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? My name is Go Eli, and today, guys, we are here with the Xbox Series X controller. This is the robot white one, and I just wanted to do a quick unboxing for you guys. Just picked it up from Target and brought it home, and yeah, we're gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna give you guys a side by side to the PS5 controller and the Xbox One white controller. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks and compares. All right, like I said, I'm not usually the best at doing setups, so let's go ahead and angle the camera down right here. And here it is. Got my trusty kitchen knife. I don't even need a knife, it's just a pull tab. I didn't even look at the box. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up right here. Can you guys see? Pull this right here. If I can get a grip on it. Ooh, that's so satisfying. Let's put that knife over there. I don't want to make no mistakes. And voila. There it is. Wow, that looks nice. Put this right here. Comes with some AA batteries. See if it comes with anything else. Ooh, it comes with a Game Pass code in there. So it's gonna close the box up. Here's how it looks and everything. Set this right now, put it over here on the Xbox. And there you guys have it. The Series X controller and the Xbox One controller. I know they don't look that different, but this one uses USB-C. See if you guys see, can you guys see the controller? The Series X controller, you guys, it uses USB-C. Uh, better, char faster charging, I believe. You know, it's way more efficient. You can plug it in on either side. And yeah, that's how they look. Not that big of a difference, but you know, if it's not broke, then don't fix it, however the saying goes. But yeah, that's it right there. Here they are side by side. Let me get the uh, PS5 controller and show you guys that side by side. And here's the PS5 controller, the Series X controller, and the Xbox One controller. As you can see, like I said, they look very similar, but there's the share button here in the middle as well. I forgot to mention that and the d-pad is a tad bit bigger i can say the grip they do have rubberized no the back side of the controller has kind of a firm grip to it whereas on here it's just smoother i guess i really don't know how to explain it but yeah you guys pretty much can see the difference on the both of them and that is it Alrighty guys, that's pretty much gonna do it. Just wanted to do a quick video showing you guys the new Series X controller. Like I said, it's not that big of a difference, but hey, they kept it simple. It gets the job done and everything, and it's a pretty solid controller. I would say it made the grips better, made it more comfortable in the hand, and it's, it just goes straight across at the top instead of having the uh, dent that this one does. So yeah, not that big of a change, but hey, it's for the better. And yes, that is the Series X controller. Can't wait to do an unboxing on the Series X for you guys. I don't know when I'm going to get that. It may be closer towards Christmas time, but I for sure am going to do an unboxing on that. And in the meantime, we got this. We can use this on the Xbox. That's the cool thing about Xbox is how they're compatible with all their consoles, I would say. And yes, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. My name is Go Eli. Stay safe, stay positive. Peace out.